Hello and welcome to Paws channel. Our video today is about large dog breeds attacking people, luckily all the people in today's video got away with no or minor injuries. In the first clip a Caucasian Shepherd attacked a man in Russia. The dog was curious at the start and was sniffing around people, then it started to sniff a person who was holding a baby pram in his one hand. The man started to pet and rub the dog over face with his other hand. This is where things went wrong the guy failed to understand the body language of the dog. Most people get confused when they see a dog wagging its tail. People often think tail wagging is a sign of a friendly dog, when this isn't always the case always. When dogs are alert, they stand with their ears up and tails raised. This posture indicates that they are watching and ready to confront whatever caught their attention. When a dog suddenly stops wagging his tail and freezes, it may mean that he wants to divert a threat without being aggressive. Many dogs do this when petted by strangers, to communicate that they don't want to interact with them. When a tail moves from a neutral position to a vertical one or arches over the back, it indicates that the dog may be aggressive. The higher the tail, the greater the threat. This high tail position also releases more of the dog's scent from the anal glands, announcing the aggressive dog's arrival and marking his territory. Submission. When a tail moves from the neutral position to a lower one, the dog is submissive and is not a threat. If the tail is tucked tightly between the rear legs, the dog is scared. He perceives a threat and is asking not to be harmed. This lower tail position reduces the amount of scent emitted from the anal glands and allows the dog to remain in the background or fly under the radar. When a dog is curious about something, she holds her tail straight out in a horizontal position. When a dog is happy, he holds his tail in a neutral or slightly raised position and adds a healthy wag. This dog was definitely not in the mood to be petted. But good thing is that guy stayed calm and didn't panic when the dog grabbed hold of his arm. He kept his cool and was looking for the right opportunity to pull his arm out of dog's mouth. Fortunately for him the dog owner came to his rescue after a few minutes of the attack and he slowly pulled back his dog. In the next clip an alibi attacks a schoolboy. Fortunately for the boy a couple of car drivers who were driving behind him, helped him out to get rid of the attacking dog. In this clip the boy started to run away from the dog which encouraged dog even more to attack him. When dogs attack and there is not much distance between you and the dog the running in front of it makes things even worse. If you have enough distance then that makes sense that you can outrun a dog by jumping over a wall or a fence. But when the dog is up close then running in front of it only means you are asking for more trouble. It's gonna catch up on you anyways then why make yourself vulnerable by running in front of it. In the next clip a stray dog tried to attack a girl. The brave little girl didn't panic at all and kept on walking at a normal speed without having an eye contact with the dog. Although a car driver kept on pressing the horn to scare away the attacking dog and managed to do so at the end. But the girl handled the situation really well by not panicking and running in front of the dog. She didn't even flinch from its barks and attack threats. In the next clip an alibi attacked a man for no obvious reason. The owner had no control over it and it was already chasing something in front of it. As soon as it turned back, it saw a man coming from the opposite side and it attacked him straight away. The owner managed to pull it away before it can do any harm to the man but owner struggled a lot to keep it at a bay. Why would someone walk a highly aggressive dog without a leash in a public place? 90% of the time it's bad ownership that leads to dog attacks. In the next clip a stray alibi attacked a Japanese chin dog. The owner was walking her in the street when a stray alibi approached them. 
The owner totally failed to understand the body language of Alibi and she thought it was about to sniff and lick her dog. But as soon as the Alibi came closer to Chin Dog, it went into an attack mode and grabbed hold of the chin. Luckily a good Russian Samaritan came to their rescue and he kicked Alibi hard enough for it to run away. Now let's watch few dogs attacking people in Turkey. In the first clip a Kongal mixed dog tried to grab hold of a man's arm but the man pulled out his arm in time and slowly moved away. In the second clip the owner was demonstrating the aggression of his Akbash dog to his friends, when the dog broke loose from its chain and attacked the owner's friends. The Akbash owner's incredible reflexes saved the day, the guy dived and grabbed hold of his dog before it could have hurt anyone. In the next clip a girl thought that the dog was wagging tail to give her a hug, but sooner it realized dog didn't want any part of her near it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to Paws channel.